In this video, I'll do an example of a problem where we find some derivatives that involve fractions. Note that these problems won't use the quotient rule, as they are simpler than that and only require some algebraic tricks. This is the problem I'll work on. We want to differentiate, which remember just means take the derivative, of y equals x over 3 minus 3 over x. Now, as we often do, before we actually get to taking a derivative, we're going to have to manipulate this and rewrite it using some algebraic rules. We'll start with the x over 3. We can think of x over 3 as 1 over 3 times x over 1. If we think about how multiplying fractions work, we multiply the tops and we multiply the bottoms, so those two expressions are equivalent. And x over 1 is just x, so that's just 1 third x. Now let's look at 3 over x. We can do the same thing, write that as 3 over 1 times 1 over x. 3 over 1 is 3, what about 1 over x? Well, we can think of 1 over x as 1 over x to the first power, and using properties of exponents, we can rewrite that as 3 times x to the minus 1 power. Remember that a negative exponent means that we've got x's in the denominator. So x to the minus 1 just means 1 over x to the 1. So we've rewritten our function now as y equals 1 third x minus 3 x to the minus 1. Again, remembering that x can be written as x to the first power, our y prime is going to be 1 third, that's just going to stay there by my constant multiple rule. The 1 comes down and I get x to the 0. Minus 3 is again a constant multiple, so that's going to stay put. The minus 1 comes down and I get x to the minus 2. Remember that when we use our power rule, we subtract 1 from the derivative, and when I subtract 1 from negative 1, I get negative 2. And now we just have to do a little simplification. 1 times x to the 0. x to the 0 is 1, so that's just 1 third times 1, which is 1 third. Minus 3 times minus 1 is plus 3. And we can either leave this as x to the minus 2, or again, we can use the meaning of the negative exponent to rewrite that as 3 divided by x squared. Either one of these answers would be acceptable. And we're done.